Hello and welcome. My name is Taylor Magnus from Saka Consulting, and today we're going to talk about inventory control within Sage Intact. As companies grow and scale, both in size and geographically, accurately tracking and valuing inventory becomes more and more challenging. Many times, we find clients struggle with visibility across multiple warehouses, especially when a perpetual inventory system is not in place. This obviously has a number of effects that can negatively impact your procurement and warehouse teams, your sales cycle, as well as management's ability to gain insights into things like inventory turnover and even P&L by item or product line. Sage Intact's inventory module is robust and can add an entirely new level of visibility to your inventory costing, tracking processes, and reporting. There is a lot you can do and achieve within this application, but we'll talk about a few of the main features today. So let's jump in. As you can see, we're now sitting within the inventory control module itself. From here, we can see there are a number of areas that we can jump into. But first, one of the most important aspects of inventory is the creation of new items you can carry and sell. And ultimately, the more aspects we can track related to those items, the more granular and flexible we can be on our reporting. So let's jump in and see what we have available. Let's use this wire mesh item as an example. At first glance, we can see we have some summary header information related to this item, such as date last sold and received, as well as amounts sitting within each bucket of on order, on hand, on hold, and available. These buckets, also available within your reporting, are driven by current purchasing and sales transactions. Now, as we move down, we can see a number of fields, the first of which being our item ID and name. But as we look further, we'll see our product line field, which allows us to group, track, and report on groups of products, as well as our cost methodology for our item. As we move down, we do have our shipping weight field that could potentially drive estimated landing costs if needed, as well as the GL group, which will be used to drive our posting effect within the configuration to determine where it is we post our costs at point of sale. Moving along, there are a number of fields below, such as our standard cost and price, but I like to highlight this warehouse area at the very bottom. This provides a nice snapshot view of available quantities for this item across all of our warehouses. Now, as we move into our advanced tab, we'll see there are a number of items we can set up here. First, we can set up a substitute item for sales orders if we were to be out of stock. Moving on, we also have tracking options below for serial number tracking, as well as managing our store locations within the actual warehouses. As we move into our vendor history tab, this is where we can set up our replenishment automation information, such as our safety stock required and maximum order quantity. And below, we can track vendor history to help in determining who we want to order from when it's time to actually replenish our stock. As I move into our cross-references tab, this is something I like to highlight. Many times, your item IDs will be different than those used by your customers and vendors. And within this section, we can set up IDs specific to certain customers or vendors so that any time we generate a printed document to one of these businesses, Intact will automatically populate based on these cross-reference IDs. Now let's go back and talk from a high level about some of our other functionality. From our applications list, we can see a number of different areas and functionality. First, we have our items, which we've already discussed. Moving down, we have our warehouses section, which is where we would set up our various warehouses. Coming further along, we have our transactions section, which are the various transaction and adjustment types that we have set up based on your individual needs. And the last thing in this column is our cycle counts. And this is a pretty useful feature for companies that are growing and diving into true inventory management for the first time. Full inventory counts are typically processes done annually or potentially quarterly and require a bit of planning and time. Cycle counts allow you to break those counts into more manageable chunks and count a small subset or sample of items. Many companies will do this daily or weekly, and when the cycle counts are completed, Sage Intact will populate and draft the required adjustment to get our items in line with actual. All said and done, these cycle counts provide for a much more accurate view throughout the year, rather than waiting for an annual count to see loss or shrinkage. Now, moving into our second column, we do have what is called kits. While there are integrations for true manufacturing solutions, with this feature, we can achieve light assembly of inventory into stockable items. This takes the cost of all of our unlike items 
and rolls them into the cost of our new kit item. Coming down, we have our warehouse transfers, and I'll open up the screen quickly. This area allows us to seamlessly move inventory between warehouses, as well as automatically make our intercompany entries if that stock or inventory is crossing entity lines. Finally, we have our replenishment section, which we touched on earlier when we were looking at our item setup. Here, we can set up forecasts to help drive our replenishment POs. And when we're ready to create a batch of POs, we can just hit this replenish inventory button here. As we can see, when I click apply filter, the system automatically generates a suggested list of items to order based on our net available quantities and forecast needs. This allows us to create a batch of POs that your purchasing team can then review combine if needed, and send out. So with that, that is a high level overview of the inventory module. As you can see, there's a great deal of functionality within this module, and obviously there's quite a bit more to it as we've only just glazed over the various areas. This application provides all teams interacting and dealing with different aspects of inventory to have a much more detailed and accurate view of current inventory levels and provides for a much more granular level of reporting for management. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions about this module or anything having to do with Sage Intact, don't hesitate to reach out to our team here at Sakai.